Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to talk about business intelligence, its different concepts, how business intelligence is helping to the organizations, what are the different roles in business intelligence, and how you can make your career in business intelligence. So, stay tuned. BI, what is it? Why everyone is talking nowadays about BI and how it's helping organizations to improve their businesses or decision making power? Let's discuss about it. According to Forrester Research, business intelligence is a set of methodologies, processes, architectures, and technologies that transform raw data into meaningful and useful information used to enable more effective strategic, tactical, and operational insights and decision making. Realize the value of organization data by transforming it into insights so everyone can make decisions based on facts instead of opinions or assumptions. However, I would rather say in general way, business intelligence is a way to make your business intelligent enough to take better decisions and make powerful business strategies. Now question arises, why do we need BI? So for that there are mainly five types of uh, important facts over there. One, it helps you to take real time analysis and quick navigation. Secondly, it also helps you to improvement in decision making processes. Thirdly, reduction in risk of bottlenecks. Fourth, waste identification in the system. And five, is easier accessibility and sharing. That means with the help of BI, we can take decisions in the real time based on the data. Also, we can improve, improve our decisions making process because it gives a lot of opportunities based on the raw data, how we are gonna transform the raw data into the information also based on the information that we are getting from the dashboards or the reports we can reduce the risk that can occur in future also with the help of the information that we are getting through bi system we can identify the wastages in the organization for example resources which are not required or any kind of process which is just consuming the time and the money but not required at all so based on the facts uh, the organization can take decision and they can make better strategy for the future now let's discuss some of the concepts in bi as we know that for everything we need data the data can be raw data or it can be the uh, data which is uh, already available in the databases or the systems so the first thing is the data source. Data source are the sources from where we are getting the data or any particular organization can get the data from those sources. Those can be multiple types of sources. They can be database, SharePoint, Excel files, cloud-based systems or flat files. Now all this data goes into the DB or the database and in order to Load the data into database, we need the ETL, which is also known as extract, transform and load, which is a data integration process. And also this ETL is responsible to load the data in data warehouse. Data warehouse is the centralized place of any organization where data from the, all the clients or all the places can be stored. Sub part of data warehouse or subset of data warehouse is known as data mart, which is specific for the individual departments or we can say like a sales department healthcare department and all from this data mart and data warehouse generally bi developers or the bi analysts they create the reports and from the reports we can create the dashboards dashboards help us to understand the data or the flow of the data which would also indicates the kpis and management can take decision based on that now the concept comes about the data warehouse. Why do we need data warehouse? 
data warehouse is an essential part of any organization because it's the central place where we can store all the data but apart from that there are certain key points that we should always remember about data warehouse the number one is the integrated many sources of data since we know that our any particular organization can deal with a lots of clients or the lo different locations so we need to integrate all the data at a centralized place there therefore data warehouse helps us in that case single source of entire organization's data as i discussed earlier it is a single source of entire organization's data number 3 well tuned and optimized for read access sequential disk scans so this data warehouse is always well tuned and optimized so that we can or any bi developer analyst consultant can easily access the data and can create the their reports or the dashboards dwh reduces stress on production system as well it also used to maintain the historical information for the on entire organization because organizations they are coming for a long way and it can be 20 years old 30 or maybe more than that who knows so in order to get the whole history we can use the data warehouses it also helps us in creating reports as i discussed earlier without the it involvement because we don't need to depend on the it professionals always a bi guy can directly connect the data warehouse and start building their reports or dashboards it helps us in analyzing the huge amount of data because it's based on olap engine which is which is known as for the well tuned and optimized performances it's easy to create bi solutions on the top of it as we discussed all the previous points and based on those it's very easy to create your reports dashboards decisions based on the data from the data warehouse now let's discuss some of the roles which are in there in bi based on uh, now the role of the data warehouse uh, we are going to discuss first before coming to the role of the bi guys so over here you can clearly see that on my left hand side there are the different data sources etl is the process which is used to integration of the data using extract transform and load so there are the different tools available in the market for that process for example microsoft has sql server integration services tool this can be used to load the data into the data warehouse and data warehouse itself is based on olap engine and which is used uh, the reporting engine which is using reporting engine and from that with the help of reporting engine there are different reporting tools which can be used to create ad hoc reporting dashboards or printing reports microsoft has sql server reporting services for the reporting purpose but nowadays they are using uh, since um, i believe it's 2013 that microsoft introduced this tool power bi which is a great tool and the market leader in terms of data visualization and self service they are using this and also now there's uh, there more and more features are coming into that one which is very very helpful and with the help of that bi developers can create reports dashboards paginated reports and all and that can be consumed by the users let's have a quick look at the microsoft bi stack microsoft bi stack is nothing but it's a list of the tools or the techniques technologies that microsoft use to provide the bi solutions to the users it includes cloud-based tools which is azure and the services including the azure then on-premises which is based on sql server and then related to the sql server tool like ssrs ssis ssas and now we have authoring and development tools as well like visual studio sql server management studio which all can be connected to the database cloud visualization tool which is known as power bi so power bi can connect with the on uh, on cloud solution as well as it can be connected with the on premise solutions the data sources 
SQL Server, which is uh, Microsoft's main tool, and uh, this is the same tool, is gonna be available the same kind of services in the Azure as well. So this is the very first tool. Then we have uh, Power Pivot, Visual Studio, SharePoint, Power BI for visualization. Uh, visualization. Then we have Excel. In Excel also, we can build dashboards or we can use Power Query and basically based on Excel and Power Pivot is the Power BI tool. Then Microsoft Azure. In Azure, we have Snips Analytics, AI, running machines, every kind of information or uh, the data can be loaded over there in the Azure Blob Storage or Azure Data Lake and from there it can be consumed by the uh, Power BI or the end users. Now uh, we are looking at the solutions of uh, uh, BI solutions benefits. What are the different benefits that we can get out of the BI? So number one is the discover insights quickly. Second, bring data to life. Third is the get the right insights to the right hands. And the fourth is maintain data accuracy and security because BI solution always helps you to quickly get the insights from the data that we are loading. For example, I'll talk about this Power BI tool. Power BI can ingest the data directly and then based on that data, uh, data there is an AI reng engine running behind this um, tool which would help you out to get the insights directly instantaneously within a matter of seconds you can get it rather than just writing a long python code or some R language coding it also helps you to bring data to life that means you can get the information required on which we have to work and also these tools also provide this BI system also provides a role level security as well as security for the organization how to protect the data how to maintain the accuracy of the data so these are uh, few of the BI solution benefits now let's uh, talk briefly about the career in BI in BI the, uh, the BI demands is always high in the market. BI developers demand or anyone related to BI. There are different roles in BI. And according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the job outlook for careers associated with business intelligence looks very promising. Why? Because it's gonna be expected to grow around 14% through 2024. And though it's uh, growing a lot in, even in today's market. So there are certain uh, roles in the BIE field which I'm going to discuss over here but if you need to know more information about them you can um, just comment in the video itself and maybe we can um, we can bring out another video on those. So BI analyst, consultant, developer, SQL server, semantic model, administrator, manager, project manager are few of those roles which are very important for any organization who are trying to implement the BI. But there are certain other roles as well, like the support. Uh, in case of uh, BI itself, there is a suppose there is a guy who is working on Power BI. Power BI have it's a sev uh, several roles like admin, support guy, security manager, admin guy, etc. Now let's talk about the advantage of career in BI. In BI field, there is always high demand of jobs so no just not go into the jobs but if you will look at this graph you will get to know the salaries in different countries in euros so generally if i'll talk about in usd as well any ba guy who has experience about three years he's getting around um 100 plus uh, 100 plus thousand dollars per year so BI career always uh, promise you a high salary as compared to the other careers and it's based on data so there's no assumptions or no other kind of uh, decision making uh, tactics over there so it's gonna be the accurate and it always provides a lot of other opportunities as well so BI just not the BI there's a database data visualization tools and other technologies are included in this a complete bi system is a really uh, complex but this is just the overview over here 
so guys uh, that's all for the video thank you so much and if you have any question or any queries you can just write back to us or comment on this video and please hit the bell icon if you want to receive any latest uh, videos or updates that's all for the day thank you so much